Hi, um, if I look really tired, um, I don't know, I got six hours of sleep. I usually get like eight or nine, so maybe that's why, but I tried to like live it up my face with some blush and a lip color, but I feel like it didn't really work. <laughs> it is around 9.30 a.m. right now. Um, I woke up at seven. Red Fudger, had breakfast, I had oatmeal and some dates. And I've just been watching YouTube and kind of sitting in my Papa Sun chair since then. And I'm not gonna lie, I have a really big urge to just go back to bed and sleep. But I'm trying, trying not to get back into bed after reading Fudger. So we gotta distract ourselves and find things to do. So main goals for today originally were to study four hours to oil my hair to work out and to go watch this movie with my sister and my best friend but um it is now a snow day which i will show you but the transit isn't really running super well right now and you know all the schools are closed and all this stuff my mom was home from work um so I don't know if that's gonna happen, it's probably not. We're probably gonna have to reschedule that. So, mm, we're after the movie. I'm still gonna oil my hair. I'm still gonna study four hours. Um, I'm going to work out and shower today. And then also, I wanna go out and, first of all, I just wanna go out into the snow. I, like, I feel like I need to go out every single day to just keep like a good mental space. I need the fresh air, I need the light and i love the snow i don't know where i live it doesn't snow a lot like it usually snows a couple days out of the year and then it like all gets washed away so snow is kind of a novelty and i don't know i love it it's so i don't know if it's because it's pretty or how bright it is or yeah the rarity but it's really nice to see and i want to go out in it so i'm gonna get all bundled up i'm wearing like this thicker scarf today um I kind of look like my mom, <laughs> but it's okay. It's like a job though, right? I don't know. But um, yeah, we're going to go out. I need to buy some like moisturizer and little things like that. So hopefully, I'm going to check if London Drugs is open. <laughs> but yeah, come along with me. Um, honestly, I, I, I was vlogging on Sunday for like a Sunday reset video, but I just didn't get very much footage and the angles weren't that great and the house is a mess because of construction so I scrapped the video but I really wanted to vlog still and I feel like it makes me more productive so even though this is a weird time in the week to start vlogging we're gonna do it it's Wednesday this is the start of the vlog yeah I guess we'll just see how I'm sticking to my new goals and habits I'm trying to build for 2024 okay Enough babbling, let's go. So, now that I look crazy, I'm going to tell you how my new year is going. Um, I'm not going to lie, the first two weeks, I nothing changed. I didn't set any goals. I was just procrastinating. I, I wasn't keeping up with my class that I just started, like... It was bad um I, I don't know i was scared like when it was happening i was like damn like this is gonna be every like every, all the other years like nothing's gonna change blah 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 but after that i got some motivation i watched um some besta abdi like i watched all of her new year videos and that got me like really inspired and i made some goals for myself and today is i think the third day since then today's wednesday and i did this on sunday so monday monday tuesday it was like the third fourth day um that i am like trying to stick to these goals and it's been pretty good actually so far it's only been a couple days so i could very much still crash and burn so far we're doing good um i've been waiting up for fudger or at least reading one prayer a day which I know that sounds like girl, seriously, that's all you do, but I don't, I'm not in the habit of praying yet. So 
I'm trying to build my way up and just get used to doing it every day and like talking to God every day, making dua even when I'm not praying. This looks like a, this is a really light shade. I can't tell if I used the right. This feels lighter than usual. But yeah, I've been doing that. I've been trying to take better care of my hygiene. Um, I feel like I didn't make a lot of the habits that I should have around hygiene at the age that I should have. So I'm trying to do it at my age of like now 21. Simple things like just, you know, if you've been depressed before, you know how hard it is to like keep up with things like that. Especially if you've been depressed like at a young age where, you know, like you're supposed to be implementing forming those habits at that age but instead you're just not and you're just <laughs> you're just a pile of goo i've been doing that and i've been studying which <laughs> that's so like girl those are things you're supposed to do i know but i don't do them i didn't used to do them like it's only been a couple days but i have a lot of hope right now that it's gonna stick because it's been easier than usual and i've been studying at home at my desk like I never do that even before whenever I studied and I got to like a good group it was always outside of my house like I was never able to do it inside my house I don't know if anyone else is like this but yeah I was never able to study at home I would always get distracted I would, I would always end up in bed always end up doing something else having people working around me was really helpful also just being in an outside space where I couldn't like get back into bed or be, like even being too close to home wasn't good because then I could like walk back home I'm trying to get caught up with my classes um i'm taking this practical nursing prerequisite like anatomy and physiology course and it's not easy it's a lot of memorization but i'm really this is my second time taking it last year i took it and i or not last yeah last year last semester slash last year i took it and i did not pass by like eight percent and honestly i wasn't trying my hardest during the course last semester so it's not that surprising that I didn't pass such a difficult course and just my luck I got a very much more difficult professor this semester she's still a great professor but she's just she makes the course harder you know percentages are what goes towards your grades are different and what's on the tests is a little different like there's more clinical questions this semester than there was last semester but in a way I'm a little bit like I should be still a little bit at an advantage because I already took this class once I just wasn't focusing or trying very hard the first time I took it so I don't know I don't know how much of an advantage it's really gonna give me but you would think right the studying is honestly studying and hygiene and health are the main goals for this year and I've been eating better I've been trying to eat at home and I'm not gonna lie, not having money helps. All of my money has gone towards my class. Um, my next paycheck is all gonna go towards school too. It's gonna be for this like mastering a and thing I need for to, like to do my homework and to get access to like practice questions and reviewing and stuff. So all my next paycheck is gonna go towards that too. <sighs> yes, oh my God. This was a lighter concealer. I was like, why is it so light? This is medium peach. I was supposed to use medium sand. Great start to the day. It's okay. It's fine. I can just go over it. Because it was like, I was like, this is really light for my skin tone. Yeah, this looks better. Melts together. But yeah, um, high hopes for this semester. Like the April 24th or 25th or something is my final exam and I am nervous. Um, my first test is in about, today's the, it's in about like nine days uh, and I'm super nervous. I'm not gonna lie. It could be even like, it's in, it's in eight days now. Oh my God. And I've only, I've only started reviewing one chapter out of the four. And, but it's the most difficult chapter, I think it's on the skeleton, so all the bones, and I just have to memorize them, and it's, <sighs> it's not easy. I've been using Anki, making the flashcards takes so much time, because like just figuring out what to put on the flashcards, and like putting it in your own words, and what's the best way to learn this, and like all this other stuff. But I've also been taking this medication, um for focus and that focus and i'm i think it's helping because i it was a lot easier i don't know if it's like motivation or the medication 
it was a lot easier to sit through my zoom class yesterday the day before yesterday i worked out and i think that helped me yesterday with my like mental health and my focus and stuff i don't know i think that could totally be like me making something up in my head or placebo because it's literally only been one like 30 minute workout session so how much more how much can that really affect me but what else the health thing i really want to lose some weight i'm not gonna put a number on it it's more about i'm not gonna like weigh myself and be like i need to weigh this much by the end of this amount of time it's more about like just making healthier decisions and seeing how my body changes and even if i don't get a lot of physical change like i can accept that i just want i really want to feel better i want to feel physically healthy i want to have energy i want to have stamina and it's not that i don't care about how i look like that would be a lie i do but like if if whatever my healthier form is isn't like a, doesn't fit an exact beauty standard if that's my healthiest form i can accept that <laughs> i think i'm trying to do at least a 30 minute workout three days a week and then the days that i'm not working out i walk i try to do like longish walks um which i love walking i do that already so that's really easy to do but yeah i'm not gonna lie i did my first workout the day before yesterday and it was brutal <laughs> I literally did like a 30 minute basically it was like a warm-up i think for normal people it would be considered a warm-up for me it was the whole thing it was like even sweating a little bit like was like okay this is progress i don't need to keep going like it was oh my god like it felt good to shower afterwards and i i was sore yesterday from it <laughs> even though i didn't do that much but yeah it was humbling to say for sure i did this shadow boxing workout like most of it and then i did like this dancing latin dance class like workout after and again they were both like beginner level stuff but i just <laughs> it was still hard for me i got some groceries i really want to buy some like what are they called rice cakes they're not like the healthiest thing ever they're healthier than my other snacks so i want to keep those at home and i also want to get these siete grain-free like chips but they're like seven dollars a bag and the bag is like not that big so it just it blows my mind like, how expensive things are truly and i saw those like those probiotic sodas um poppy sodas that have been really popular i think in the u.s lately and i saw those at um save on foods the other day and they were four dollars a can <laughs> i bought these other probiotic sodas that I, I saw at safeway that were like on sale it was like four cans for i think eight dollars so i was like you know i like i don't know i feel like eating having a soda is so much fun i love popping it open i love drinking out of the can so i'm gonna keep it as a little studying treat I want to like kind of create an ambiance around when I study, have snacks, have, you know, my headphones on, have a cute space, have like a blanket and all that. I've also been trying really hard to stay out of bed because one of my big things is that I stay in bed for like so long when I'm home. So on days that I'm home, I get like nothing done. It's always days that I like leave the house that I get stuff done and I just need to learn to like work from home. Um, because first of all i love my house and second like it's not always an option to go somewhere and you know study or work or whatever so yeah i've been making my bed when i get up and not trying not to get back in i've been sitting at my desk even if i'm like not working i try to sit at my chair and my desk or i try to sit on my papasan chair which i love that chair oh my god one of, one of the best buys that i've made ever truly i kind of want to do pink eyeshadow smells so good i feel like literally nobody notices this except me but it's just so much fun to apply it's like, can you even like there's a very slight difference like it's there like if you look at it compared to this eye you can kind of see it but i think if you're just looking at this it looks like hyperpigmentation which is cute in its own way like the lighting i tried to make the lighting good but it still sucks the mascara can really break or make the look so i'm trying to curl my lashes really well 
think that's good. Okay. Should I do eyeliner? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my eyes look really small, so eyeliner it is. I'll do brown eyeliner. But first, it's been like two weeks since I've gotten my brows done. And I feel like from far away, you can't really tell. But from close up, you can. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't mess this up because it's going to be a pain. And I really can't see very well. Today is kind of a bad makeup day, but this is as good as it's gonna get, I think. For the eyeliner. Like, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I feel like the eyeliner doesn't make any sense for the look I was trying to go for, but whatever. It's done. <laughs> Maybe I should do inner corner. No. I want to do highlight. I have been having the most mundane dreams lately, like... Things will happen in my dreams that I'll be like, or like little fights, but like spats, like not like huge life altering fights, but just like little things that can happen that like you can forget about later. And it's so like discombobulating when I wake up because I genuinely don't know if it happened or not. Like I don't know if it's a memory or if it was a dream. Where's my falsies mascara? I don't know. That's annoying. I guess we're going in with this heroin makeup waterproof one. Ugh, waterproof mascara is so good for like keeping a curl, but it's so annoying to take off. I'm probably not gonna go crazy with the mascara just because I want it to be somewhat easy to take off at the end of the day. I say that and I'm still doing like multiple coats. I feel like it just doesn't look right. I don't know what it is, I just feel like my eyes look small today. And I don't know if it's like maybe they're swollen or something. I don't like to do my bottom lashes because I feel like it looks creepy on me very like spider legs okay i just have highlighter and lips to go i feel like this looks so much better in person than on camera and we are done okay i am changed um i'm wearing the same sweatshirt i took off my pajamas obviously um, the sweatshirt is from Abercrombie & Fitch. The long sleeve I'm wearing under, which is like the same like whitish gray color, is TNA by Aritzia. And then I'm wearing those cargo sweatpants that literally every Vancouver girl owns. And they're blue. Okay, um, <laughs> let's go. I just realized how deep it is. <laughs> like... My pants are definitely getting wet. Oh. Should I go back? No, I mean, I got ready. I that just walking through the snow is so tiring. I also just realized that I'm going to be expected to shovel our driveway because my oldest sister isn't here. She's in Chicago and my other two sisters are weaklings. So I'm the only option left. And if my mom asks, I'm not going to be able to say no to her. Damn. They have all the Valentine's Day stuff out already. Look how cute. to film me checking out but bag secured i'm not gonna head home i'm ready to be home it's okay i've had my little outing of the day i passed by this girl <laughs> when i was shopping and she went like she looked at me and she went dang she's pretty but like i was walking so fast and i didn't know i didn't like realize in the moment that she was talking to me or about me and i just didn't process it in time to react so I completely didn't react because I didn't know at the time that she was talking to me. And I like walked away and then I realized like a minute later and I was like, oh shit. <sighs> so that girl's definitely not watching this, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm back home and I'm gonna make lunch because it's like 1 p.m. and I'm starving. I had oatmeal for breakfast, so I'm probably gonna make like a tofu, chicken, rice, greens mix for lunch. I wonder if the nutritional yeast is actually cooked. I like I bought this because the one that I the one I have and I accidentally threw out. It is let's see. Yeah, you can have this just like raw. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sprinkle it over my already seasoned tofu. Let's get a bowl. Okay, lunch is made. I know it doesn't look very good, but I swear it's really good. Um, I've been really into macro bowls lately. I am going to sit and rot here until three, so 20 more minutes. And I'm going to watch this Carrie Cakes vlog, and then I'm going to get up and study. I swear. But for right now, for now, me and her. <laughs> okay, it is 4.30. Time got away from me, and my mom also had me help her with some things. So I'm not going to beat myself up, because what counts is that I actually get the work done, not when. As long as it's today, it's fine. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, I don't have the hijab on, so I'm not filming myself, but let's get started. So my first test is four chapters, histology, the integumentary system, bones and bone tissue, and the skeleton. That's going to be on the 25th, so about a week from now. So I really need to be grinding because I only have, I've only been working on one chapter and I'm not even done with that chapter, so... <laughs> I'm not wearing my hijab, so I'm not filming myself, but I finished studying for the day. It's 9 p.m. I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready for bed. I'm gonna make you mine. 